Hi, my name is Ronit Mukherjee and I'm an Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. In today's quick tip video, I'm going to be showing you a surfacing tool called Heal Edges. Uh, this tool helps us uh, fix broken edges off of a surfacing model. We can also use this tool for a solid model. Let's take a look how this works. Here, I have an imported model. If you notice, this area of the model is not done very cleanly if we, and if you can see this has been split into multiple different faces. Um, the idea is to kind of clean this area and uh, make it more presentable. So one of the most common tools that we use uh, in order to get rid of faces like these is uh, our delete face tool. So in our surfaces tab if you select for delete face uh, it opens up the delete face property manager on the left hand side and under our selections is asking us for faces to delete. So I want to go ahead and I want to select these uh, faces that are available that I want to kind of blend together or make it a little better uh, reverend representation of the model. So I'll select these four tools, uh, sorry, th these faces, and now I have a few different options for uh, the delete face tool. So my first option is just a delete, which kind of gets ripped, uh, rid of this face and uh, rid of actually these faces that we've selected. Then we have another option for delete and patch. So I'm going to select the delete and patch, click on my preview so I can show you what's happening. If you notice this uh, yellow preview here, what SolidWorks is doing is uh, it's kind of creating a seam in the middle over there and it's kind of blending these two surfaces together. It's also raising that edge from the other end and uh, clearly this is not what we uh, want to do. We don't want to raise the edge of that particular model. Um, let's see what other options we have. So I'm going to look at the delete and fill option. So I'll check that. And over here, you notice it does give me some sort of a preview. Not, I'm not sure if this is a correct preview or not. So if I hit the green check over here, it's going to give me the model, what it makes. And if you notice, it's a very, um, um, <laughs> this geometry is not what we are looking for, clearly. So I'll go back into the delete uh, face and edit that feature. And let's say in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete um, those faces. I don't want to do a delete patch. I don't want to do delete and fill. I just want to, uh, want these faces to be removed. So I'll hit the green check on that and you notice it uh, kind of creates this into a surface body all of a sudden uh, because we've deleted those faces and now uh, these uh, faces don't have any thickness to it. Um, now, so the reason why we were seeing such a uh, um, uh, geometry in this area was when this part was imported um, somehow whatever happened uh, if you notice these edges got split up so I've got one selection here one selection here and as I kind of carry on along this edge I, I noticed that I have lots more selections to be made in order to kind of fully uh, capsulate uh, this entire edge and since we have multiple edges over there that's why SolarWorks creates multiple different faces uh, on uh, our surfaces on this particular face same with this end if I click on these edges you notice there are some tiny teeny edges that we can uh, we can also select um, and uh, and this is and um, this is because um, uh, uh, the, the surfaces are broken because of these edges being broken. So now the tool that SolidWorks introduced in their surfacing model uh, module is your um, uh, heel edges tool. So you can go find it under insert, um, face and uh, heel edges. You can grab it from there or if you want to know where it is uh, located, if you don't uh, know tool, we can search for our commands and just type heel edges and it was going to, and if you hit this I show command location it's going to take you exactly where it is um, and um, also you can uh, search it from your command and you can drag this command and you can drop it on your command manager and uh, it always stays there so you don't have to get it again and again once you drop it there we'll just click on the heel edges tool um, and you'll notice on the left hand side you have the heel edges property manager what it's asking for us is to what faces uh, do we want to heal so in this case I'm just going to select uh, these three faces one two and then the third face on the opposite side so three faces selected uh, three surfaces selected I should say uh, now there's a um, there's an area for um, angular tolerance and uh, the edge length tolerance so in this case let's say if we set an angular tolerance to um, uh, five degrees what this does is this sets the maximum angle between the edges to be merged and the edge length tolerance tool um, this sets the maximum length of the edges to be merged basically so uh, what's happening is uh, for example like with with this selection that we've made uh, or actually we can even kind of play with it a little bit let's uh, make the angle a little 
little less um, at uh, two degrees and then we can make uh, the length a little smaller at like five degrees as well and uh, we can uh, come down here and hit heel edges so it's going to show you what edges did we have before this uh, um, feature was used and then what edges do we have after this feature was used so now if I hit the green check on this and I come up to my model and I select my edge you notice I'm allowed to select this whole entire edge and then I can make another selection I can select these two faces as well uh, this edge as well same on your on the other side if I click on this edge I can select that edge in just one uh, click now with these healed uh, with these edges that have been healed. I can use my um, Fill surface tool um, so fill surface and then I can tell SOLIDWORKS say hey, these are the surfaces that I need fill so I'll select my edges Right here right here this This and this so I'm just making my selection and SOLIDWORKS already kind of creates that surface for us I can come up here and I can change what contact type I want for my uh, all the edges that I've selected so if you notice um, I'll go up to my edge number three and over here I want to I want um, um, let's say a curvature base or a tangent base I want it to be smooth in that area so I can select the tangency application over there similarly for my last uh, edge which is on this side I also want to create a tangency so I'll select that particular edge and uh, under my edge settings I can come here and I can change that to tangent so once you've selected all these edges for your patch boundary and then you've also selected the edge settings for s some of those edges if we take our um, view down over here in the options menu we have a couple more options over here so the first step is the fix a boundary basically the boundary that we've created it's going to fix it up together um, it's going to merge all the results so the face uh, the surface that we just created it's going to merge the surface into um, the existing surfaces and then you also have the option for creating a solid from it so right now this is a surface model and if I just green check it without the create solid option it still keeps it as a surface model so if I want to go ahead and make it a solid model all I have to do is hit this green uh, uh, hit this checkbox and then I'm ready to hit the green OK and uh, you'll notice as soon as I gr hit green OK I'll show you a section view of it and I'll change it to a top plane and notice it's got material on the inside uh, hence it's a solid um, basically a solid body also you have the solid bodies uh, folder in your tree that also shows you that this model is a solid body so alright I hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you for watching mm -hmm.